Recently I have designed and created a 3D printed brushless motor which is published on Maxi. Since the measurements were quite promising, I was always wondering how well this motor performs in a real life application. In this video I'm going to present a 3D printed motor mounted on an RC plane and let it take off. Actually it's not only the brushless motor which is 3D printed but also the propeller. This makes the project even more challenging. First, a few words about the motor. The concept is a three-phase brushless outrunner. The motor consists of three main 3D printed parts. First, a stationary piece which includes ball bearings and screw holes for mounting the motor on a car or a plane. Second, another stationary part called stator where enameled copper wires are wound with a specific pattern into slots. Third, the rotor with 12 neodymium magnets fixed on the shaft. This spinning part encloses the stator and drives a propeller or a pinion gear. As indicated, all 3D printed parts are published on MakeC. The STL files are free for download. You only need to register your name. There are also very detailed printing and assembly instructions as well as performance measurements published. You will find a link to make C in the description of this video. From the initial measurements I knew that the motor has 70 to 90 watts continuous power without getting hot. An airplane needs most power at takeoff. During the flight it's much less. And the ventilation is also much better during the flight. Therefore, it's possible to overload the motor for a short while at takeoff. With that in mind, I can probably get 150 watts on ground. 150 watts is approximately the power of my paper RC plane, which I've presented in an earlier video. As a first test, I've used a regular brushless motor for testing the 3D printed propeller. This version has three blades, nine inch diameter and four inch pitch. It draws 12 amps from 3S LiPo. The flight performance with this configuration is excellent. The 3D printed motor, however, will turn much faster with 3S LiPo, which means that it would draw much more than 12 amps. So I decided to 3D print a two blade propeller with only 3 inch pitch. That's one inch less. The propeller blades are printed with the nose pointing towards the build plate. This orientation is needed in order to withstand high centrifugal forces. It's also important to print all blades in one pass because small variations in filament diameter could cause differently weighted blades and an unbalanced propeller. The new 3D printed propeller mounted on the 3D printed motor finally draws 9 amps at 12 volts. That's a bit more than 100 watts. Rotation speed is 8300 rpm. Probably 3.5 inch pitch would have been ideal, but two thirds of the power should still be good enough and on the safe side to not burn the motor. Finally, I needed to replace the motor mount. Of course, it's now 3D printed. Almost ready to fly, I checked the center of gravity. Unfortunately, it was more than 6 cm behind the ideal point. With 70 grams additional weight fixed at the nose, I could move it only 3 cm, so it's still far from the ideal point. The total weight of the plane is now 380 grams. The ratio of thrust and weight is roughly 1 to 1. The start is a bit hectic because the plane turns immediately upside down. Even with the less powerful motor, the plane climbs rapidly, so I'm reducing the power. Unfortunately, the plane enters an uncontrolled left turn. Assuming it's stalling, I'm giving full power again, but it doesn't help. The plane was slightly damaged after that crash. I removed additional weight from the nose, risking that it's even more tail heavy. But with a lower overall weight, another crash would potentially be less severe. So I'm starting the plane a second time. The first few seconds after the takeoff are similar and the rest too. I can't get it under control as soon as I reduce the power. This time I'm completely switching off the motor and the plane sinks like a parachute. The problem causing the crash isn't the motor but the tail heavy construction. 
It's known that flying wings must not be tail heavy because it's unstable. In my case it's even a surprise that the plane did properly take off. Anyway, after these two flights it's clear that this 3D printed motor and the propeller are well suitable for an RC plane up to 500 grams. Now I'm feeling very motivated to build another plane with a proper center of gravity. What about you? Since all STL files are public on MakeC, you could do your own experiments. I'd be delighted to see the 3D printed motor taking off at different places around the world.